Okay, hi everybody. Welcome back to TRS. As you know, we've uh, stopped taking the uh, send-in work because we've got we're just swamped and we're short-staffed. So until I catch up a little bit, no more send-in work. But you can go to the site and you can get your um, self-install kit, no problem. So you can do this kind of stuff at home. Anyway, we have a T-Berry Twin T. Get a lot of questions about people saying, uh, "Hey, does it work in old?" Uh, tube radios or crystal radios well let me see here i believe that this was an old crystal radio oh yeah look at that there was the channel selector and the synthesizer board and the old clarifier so we take that out and we put in the dds vfo system and this piece here we had to 3d print this is where the channel selector was and so we 3d printed this you know close to the same gray color as we could get or that silver uh, put in a 1.2, 1.3 size display, found a knob that matched with the others, and, uh, oh, actually, no, this was, uh, this was not found. This was the original channel selector knob, that's right, and we pulled off the channel selector plastic that showed the numbers so we could keep it original, that's right. Anyway, this uh, has all the features that DDS VFO offers, um, all the channels, right, anywhere you want to go, doesn't matter. You know, however wide band this is. This one, you know, we're looking to see. Let's go here. Let's see how far down we go. Okay, we get we get uh, 26,855 to 27,805 or 605. So yeah, that's a pretty good band range. I mean, it's not it's not huge like the the newer radios, but it's usually pretty good. There's some side band. Let's see if we can catch that. Where's my... Nope, that was the RF gain. I was looking for the squash. Yep, that works really good, right? <laughs> so, it's got that. Uh, then you can always go, if you want to, into the into the VFO mode okay. and you go in VFO mode and you know with VFO mode and this is why I always say you don't you could use the you could use the channel mode in in 1 through 40 and then just use this as your you know just like a VFO as your as your main channel running around you know and the clarifier that won't work in VFO mode because you can go down to tens of hertz here which is what the clarifier does so instead of making them both run Slow down there. Uh, you know, we've got it. So, yeah, it works really good. Goes through the different modes. You see upper side there and AM. So, it runs. Oh, also, um, go back here to channel mode. And we will set our squelch up. RF gains up there. Let's get off that active channel. And, uh, as always, CBPA is a scan. So, you hit and it scans and it'll stop on a signal. Just like that. And then when you... Uh, when that signal drops off, turn that back a little bit, and that squelch up a little bit more, and it'll break where the squelch breaks, and then it'll start scanning again. Now, the other day when we had these big, giant uh, stations coming in from all over the country, I mean, I couldn't scan more than three or four channels and somebody was coming up, but this seems to be hitting quite a bit of, um, quite a bit enough. There's... Yeah, that would be channel six. <laughs> and it depends on how, how loose you have your squelch set. Um, the looser squelch will uh, stop the scan on, on less of a signal, just like the uh, opening of the, of the squelch. So, works pretty good. Uh, I hope you're happy with it. This is for Jim. Um, he's been waiting a while. Uh, yeah, we're behind, but we're catching up. Uh, I think we're only... Uh, we're just we're bordering on the two month behind area, so we're we're catching up. Got about uh, oh another hundred and I think 160 of these to do. Not not this radio, but DDS VFOs, and then we'll be all caught up. So um, hopefully we find a new tech. Hopefully we find some office personnel or something to happen, and we'll get you going. Anyway, Jim, I hope you love it. Looks cool. I like it, and uh, it's working great. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.